This video is aimed at demonstrating basic skills in AutoCAD. Very important, if you search for AutoCAD, uh, you will see there's a lot of different versions. We are looking for AutoCAD 2017 English. When it loads up, I will point you a few places. First, I could point to start drawing, but uh, you see down there it says learn, and you notice there's a whole lot more videos than what I can make that are probably better produced. Uh, but this video is just very basic stuff. You'll also see there's something uh, at the bottom right that's called Hitchhiker's Guide to AutoCAD, and that's where you would find readings about AutoCAD with more details. So if we go back to Create and choose Start Drawing, and go ahead and load up a new drawing. This is what it looks like. So let's look at the general tour. You see that it's a tabbed layout similar to other things. Uh, most of the stuff that you're going to work with is on the Home tab, uh, which contains uh, a lot of your drawing commands. Uh, the Annotate is the other tab that you'll spend maybe some time on. Um, other than that, you're pretty much going to stay out of the rest of the tabs. We also have the layout tabs that we will learn about in a different video uh, when it comes to scaling and making drawings. The first very important thing that we will do is we will set up our units. This should be done at the beginning of any drawing. You can see that we have options of decimal and engineering and uh, a few other options. Uh, we can change angles to decimal degrees or surveying units or uh, some other method. Um, and we can also uh, set the initial scale. So the first thing I want to show you after we've set up our units is how to draw lines. We can do this either with mouse clicks, you can see the line at the upper left hand corner, and what we can do is we can simply specify uh, with mouse clicks where we want to uh, start each point, or we can do it using the keyboard and we can start uh, from an exact point and then everything from there uh, the way that it is set up will do referencing from where I'm currently located. So it's not going to be uh, absolute uh, coordinates are going to be it's going to be relative coordinates instead. All right, so I'll demonstrate a few different ways to do this. Uh, I can demonstrate by putting in points. Uh, one thing I can do, I can also specify an angle by using uh, the what looks like a less than sign or an angle sign uh, to specify I want to draw lines with an angle. Uh, another way to do this, to draw lines, is to type in the word line uh, and I can do all the specifications in that way. All right. Of course it's easy for a beginner to be selecting mouse clicks. You see lines are up at the top there. Equally important is selecting and erasing. A single mouse click can be used to select in a rectangular fashion. If you hold down the mouse, you get a shape. Uh, and then to erase, uh, there's a few ways you could, you could do it. You could do a cut, uh, or you could use the command erase, which you could type in uh, as erase. All right. You may also see there's uh, an eraser at the very top uh, located within the modify commands. That's what uh, erase would be. Uh, you can see uh, if I start with a click and drag to the right, it s selects everything within the box. If I start with a click and drag to the left, it selects anything the box touches. So there's ways to select, and I can type in erase to erase, or I can type in erase, or I can go and grab that eraser, select all the things I want, and then click enter. By the way, the escape and enter keys are really your lifeline to getting out of commands at any point. Now we're going to do an example. Here it is. Uh, we're just going to draw this in using lines. So get a chance to take a look at it. And then we'll go back to AutoCAD real quick. Uh, by the way, uh, zooming and panning is really important. Um, and you can do this with your mouse if you have a three button mouse. The center wheel is used for zooming. And the, if you hold down the center wheel, uh, you can pan around. Um, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. So what I'm doing there, you see the little hand that's coming up because I'm pressing the center wheel of my mouse. All right, so I started from one point and then I'm doing everything in uh, relative coordinates. So I'm going to uh, specify my shape in that way. I will zoom uh, by rolling on my scroll wheel. 
Um, I can, of course, pan back around, which I'm going to do right now. And so I can really zoom in on the stuff that I want to do. All right, so I'm just continuing to draw my shape here. You can go back in the video to the point where I showed the example. You can see that what I'm doing. Uh, one thing you'll notice is I have these little green squares. That's the result of having snap turned on. That's what I'm showing you right now. Uh, I can set midpoints, center, uh, endpoints, etc. Uh, snap's a really nice thing to be able to do. So that's what uh, your, those green uh, icons you're seeing that show up. Uh, now to space out my square here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line, which I will erase later. Uh, I'm going to go from this point, I'm going to go over to uh, to make my uh, second square. And I will do that. You'll, you can follow along. Alright, now I'm going to connect from endpoint to endpoint with this uh, angle, and I'll, like I said, erase the line later. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Of course, uh, if I click line over and over, that's one easy way to do it. Uh, mouse clicks is easier for you to follow along with right there. Uh, what I want to do is erase, so I'll, I can start by typing E, and it will show up as erase as one of my options. I'm going to choose that. Uh, and then the last thing I need to do is add lines at the top. The lines here are going to be specified by a distance and an angle. So I want to go 5 at uh, a specific angle. Uh, angle is 53.13. And then uh, I just need to finish off my shape. It looks like this. Hitting escape will get me out of creating lines. One thing I won't be showing in this video is how to make the dimensions you saw on the example. Those are things that you will uh, learn how to do in future videos. But uh, the dimensions shown uh, will let you make the shape. Uh, what I'm showing you here is that using snap, I can specify uh, different locations. Uh, so, uh, and then I can erase a few different ways to erase. As I said, you can type in erase. You can select the object. Uh, alternately, you can hit erase and select objects, or you can select the object and then uh, type erase, and that will uh, get rid of the item itself. So there I'm going to select everything and uh, go ahead and erase and there uh, everything has gone away. The next skill I want to talk about is creating rectangles. You can see uh, rectangles are located up uh, in the draw menu uh, and rectangles are specified by uh, two points. Uh, the starting point and then the opposite corner point. Uh, you can practice making several rectangles yourself. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, you can specify the point. You can specify the second point uh, by typing it in, uh, or you can do it with mouse clicks as well. One thing you might notice about these shapes is that a rectangle is one continuous shape. Right? It's one continuous object. And so if I want to make any modifications to edges, uh, what I need to do is use explode. Uh, and you can see explode is up in the modify command. If I hover over it, it says explode. What that does is it breaks the rectangle down into individual lines. I'm going to do that with all of them. You can also type explode uh, as the command. Everything is uh, usually accessible by some mouse click or by command prompt. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, do a chamfer. Uh, this is found up in the modify menu. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can specify a chamfer. Uh, you can, of course, type it in, but uh, you click it, it's located there. Uh, you click on one line, and you could specify uh, the distance and angle or the distance back on each line. Uh, so, for example, uh, here I'm going to specify a, a value, uh, and then I'm going to specify the distance on the second line. Uh, and so you can see that's how far back from the corner that it's going to change. If I type in chamfer again, I can select the first line. Uh, then I can choose distance I, just by typing D. I can choose uh, how far back from the corner I'm going to come on each uh, line. So I'll do one back from the corner. I'll do another, or sorry, 0.5 back from the corner, and then 0 back, 0.5 back from the corner on the other line. Another modify command that allows me to do stuff to corners 
uh, is the fillet command and uh, this is specified uh, using a line and then a radius and so uh, I'll do that here a couple places uh, and what this does is it rounds off the corners Again, if I'm in a command I want to get out, I can use escape. Uh, if I want the command to execute, I'm going to hit enter. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I've got to try again. All right, and I'll do it again for grins and giggles. Using the type in commands. All right, again, I want to remind you about panning. Uh, I can do that either by grabbing the hand over at the uh, right-hand side, or if you have a scroll wheel mouse, uh, you can do it just by clicking in on the scroll wheel. I can also do some zooming. I can, uh, probably the most important one is zoom extents. It takes me to the outside of every item that I have. But also zoom in and zoom out are uh, findable through this menu that's on the right-hand side uh, here. And of course, it's possible to zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on the mouse. All right, the last skill I would like to show you how to do today is using uh, circles. And so I can use mouse clicks, and then these are specified by a center point and a radius. Uh, there are some interesting snap things I can do. Uh, one is that I can go and uh, tell it that I want to snap to quadrants uh, that gives me the quadrant point here and so if I draw another circle I can grab from a quadrant uh, and work that way again some of these things are uh, up to you personal preference I prefer to have a certain set of snap settings on just to make things a little bit easier for myself all right that's pretty much it for uh, AutoCAD basics what I would recommend doing is going and watching some of the videos made by Autodesk themselves about AutoCAD education and checking out the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to AutoCAD.